Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to register an identity on chain. We are going to use a W3F registrar. And because of this, um, I decided to do this video because there was an update to the registration system used by registrar number zero. Okay, so if we look at the website on the left, we would see that registrar number zero, the W3F Foundation. There's a fancy website, which I will link in the description. All links will be put in the description below. And this fancy new website is using a new system of verification that does not involve signing the challenges. Okay, so this may be a bit different from what was there before and may be different from other um, registrars. Okay, so what we will do, we are going to first set up an account. I will discuss some of the um, requirements in terms of what is going to be reserved in terms of your KSM and how much needs to be paid and spent. So if we look to the left, we need an account. Okay, the account has to be created on chain versus using something like a ledger account. Now, a ledger cannot provide a primary identity. You need to establish a sub-identity for a ledger account. And to establish a sub-identity, um, you first need a primary identity. So that's what we're doing right now. Along the way, there will be some funds that are held in reserve and there will be some funds that are spent and I will highlight these funds as we go along and you can do the math to get an idea of how much you need to set up your identity system. Now, the fees are different on Kusama versus Polkadot and, uh, but the process is very much the same. Okay, so just note these things as you go along. Now, when you create an account, you can just simply hit add, right? And then you go next, next, next on polkadot.js directly, or you can do so via the extension. When you create a name within this account, this is not seen to the public. So you may see this is my name or not registered, and this never goes to the public. This is only, you only see this. You're the only one who sees this other people see your address. So if you want to see a name, um, you can actually just register an identity. Um, if you're a validator, you may want to do this so that people would recognize your branding of your node and to also be confident that the information you're supplying is accurate, not shady, and um, has been verified, yeah? So it's a, it's a good thing in many regards. So to start the process, we right click, we click on the three dots and we hit set on chain identity and we are presented with a number of fields. The first one is a display name. This is what's going to be seen in the public. What I would recommend is that you go to the registrar's site. So now we are on the left. Again, if you can't see any of this properly, please adjust the resolution on YouTube up to something like 720p or 1080p. So we choose validate display name and I want to get that name Paranodes. Let's try that. I'm told that I can't get it because some guy has Paranodes.io, right? So if it is, it is much like when you're trying to register a website, except that if it is too close, you won't get a, a registration of the identity. Okay, so I'm searching for Paranodes. There's someone with Paranodes.io. It's actually me, right? So I can't get this name. So let us try Superguy. Superguy is valid. Right? I, what are the odds? You know, it's such a cool name. So I am going to choose that name, Superguy. And now I have to go through a series of other fields. So there are one, two, three, four, five fields that I can fill. If I just toggle this, I can actually fill it. And they are legal name, email, web, Twitter, and Riot. And these are the, the bits of information we can have associated with our identities. 
okay? Now, some of them can be verified automatically using bots, and some need a human intervention to verify. The ones that need human intervention to verify a legal name and website, and you will have to contact the registrar after you submit your request for judgment at the um, element channel below that I've highlighted. Okay, so you need manual intervention for those fields. The other ones can be done automatically. So I'm going to actually do the automatic ones and we will deal with the uh, um, we will deal with the automatic ones and we can leave the other ones out because I won't be able to complete all of those in a video for you right now if we go through that process. So let us fill this out. We go to email and I'm going to support at paranodes.io. I am going to submit my Twitter, which is at paranodes. I'm going to do riot name, which is at Paradox matrix.org. Okay, now to the bottom, this fee of 33.333 recurring milli KSM will be kept in reserve and you can get it back if you clear the identity. But for now, we are going to set the identity. We have to sign. There we go. Now this is going, to, oh, it actually finished a lot quicker than I thought. Uh, okay, so at this point, my identity is on the chain, but it is not yet verified. So this will be seen, Superguy will be seen to everyone. Oh look, I get all my information and stuff here. But as you can see, it has a little icon to the left of it that's um, pretty transparent, um, but it's more or less stating that, you know, this guy has submitted this information on chain, but it's not verified. At this point in time, registrars may be scouting the data that's now public on the chain and say, hey, this guy has set an identity I wonder if he wants to get it verified. Let me send him some emails or contact him on the platforms in which uh, on the inform based on the information that he submitted. Okay, so you can sufficiently ignore those emails. There are there's no commitment at this point in time. If you would like to actually reg um, have the identity um, validated, you need to go to a registrar. Now there are five of them as listed here in subscan, indexed zero to four, and these are their respective fees. We are using register number zero, and the fee is 0 0.04 KSM. So we will need that information as we proceed with the next step. We go to governance, I'm sorry, developer extrinsics, we select the right account, which is Superguy. We go to Identity. We do Request Judgment. We are asked for the Reg Index, which is the Registrar's Index, and it is zero in this case. And the fee, we do 0 0.04, and we look all the way to the right, and it says KSM. We hit Submit Transaction. and our request for judgment has been logged. So what this does is that we have an on-chain identity. Now we are requesting this registrar to verify that identity. Now the registrar is going to say, hey, for me to verify your identity, you need to prove that you own all of those addresses or that bit of information that you sent. So we go back to the registrar.web3 foundation site we choose Kusama and we say check judgment and we put in our address. So I'm told that there are three items and I need to sign, um, I need to have these verified. 
So these are the challenges and it needs to come from Paranodes and it needs to go to w at w3f underscore register. So I'm going to do that one first. The note says it takes five minutes via Twitter. So I'm doing this one first. right so you just send a message you don't get any replies all information will be updated on the site so i did the twitter one i'm not going to sit around and wait for it i'm going on to the next one which is matrix so i need to send from my matrix account to this particular um, address and i need to send this challenge now I already have this up and I did one before, so I'm going to send it again. Okay, now again, you don't get any messages. I was just hoping to see something spectacular, but I guess not. And even though I didn't see anything on Element, I can see now Matrix account is verified. Challenge is valid. Okay, so we see that coming up. So I did Twitter and Twitter can take about five minutes. So I will wait. I move on to email. Now, the first thing is that I need the email address. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to my email client and I'm going to put that in. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get the challenge. I'm going to copy this and I am going to put it in my email. Now, I was told that um, rich text or HTML is supported, but plain text is better. So in my case, I'm going to find my edit HTML here. And I see that, you know, there's all this weird stuff around. I'm just going to delete that and I'm going to put this plain. So you can for in your particular web client, um, look for something like, you know, um, plain text or just make sure there's no funny formatting if you ever encounter any issues. So with that said, I'm going to hit send. I'm not going to put a subject. I don't think it matters, but I'm not. I'm going to wait here. And I go back to this page. Oh, so it tells me that it's um, it got the challenge and it is valid, but it sent a second challenge to my email that I need to check, um, I need to get. And when I get it, I need to paste it here. So let us go back. I'm going to, I actually see something in my inbox, all in red. There's nothing here. All right, to go here. I get this bit of information. I go back here and I hit go. And this one is verified. So now I need to actually wait a bit on two things. I need to wait for this Twitter to be verified, which can take about five minutes. Okay, not too excited about that one. And I also need to wait for my entire identity to be updated. Now this can take some time, so I will just discuss with you um, perhaps some future steps. Now with your identity verified, you can actually come across here and you can do set on chain sub identities, right? Which is such that you will see your primary identity, which will be super guy, and you can set a sub identity below it um, to be like zero one. So you will get super guy slash zero one or super guy. Um, and you can put something, you know, number one dude or something like that. Um, let me expand it out. You hit add sub. So you choose one that doesn't have an identity, of course, and you choose the sub main. So if I do something like this, We wait a bit 
and we should see, okay? So this is like the naming format that comes when you set a sub identity. Now, if this in particular was a ledger account, you could have used that to set the sub identity on this account as your, um, so this gives, you won't be able to have like a primary identity on your ledger stash, but you can actually use this technique to set a um, sub identity. Okay, now I see some actions happening here. So it basically says that my Twitter account was verified. The verification process is complete. Judgment issue will be, judgment will be issued in a couple of minutes. So I just need to um, wait a few minutes and eventually I will see that this um, symbol to the left of Superguy will change to a, what is called the green tick. It's white tick with a green background. And uh, this will be visible to everyone on chain. Okay, now I will wait a few minutes because I think it gives a good conclusion to the whole um, process. Okay, now something to note as well, if you have verified these parameters, you don't need to um, verify them again for that particular account. Okay, so if for whatever reason you clear the identity and you want to register again, the system knows that this address had these particulars verified at some point in time and you don't need to do it again. Okay. So it is something to, to note. You can't exactly clear the information out completely. And this is something that is unique to each registrar, I, I suppose, right? How they decide to deal with these things. Now, I'm doing this registration for um, this process for the W3F registrar, but it's also fair to note that registrar number one which, which is um, Chevdor, Will Chevdor. He is also um, very, very good and very responsive in terms of handling um, his judgments. So if it is that, you know, 12 o'clock in the night, some, some odd hour you want to register an identity um, with a website and you put a name or something like that, um, that may be the individual you wish to engage. He is very professional in his um, endeavors and, um, you know, very knowledgeable, not only about this process, but the entire ecosystem. Um, he's a um, counselor on the Kusama um, Council, which is a pretty good thing as well. Okay, so I, I give him some kudos and I'm sorry I'm not doing a, a video on his system, but um, his system should follow pretty much the, the routine that anyone's familiar with. This is something that's just a bit out of the norm in which you have this um, web app that you're dealing with and you have to wait for your verification. Okay, so I'm going to stick with you guys just for a bit more. Um, some of the things that do come that comes up is that people expect to see some feedback from the actual bots. You don't get any response from the bots in, in this case. Maybe that's an idea for improvement. But if you have the website, the website is the thing that actually, you know, gives you the information that you require. Um, you don't need to sign the challenges. You just copy paste them you need to make sure that it's sent from the right person to the correct individual and everything should go fine. So I'm going to conclude finally, right? If we look to the right, all of a sudden, my super guy has a green circle with a white tick, which is called a green tick for whatever reason. And my sub identity that I established has these little chain, this little chain looking thing. Okay, so I think we are all good. Thank you for viewing. If there are any questions, please reach out to me. I'm fairly accessible. Or you can simply go to this website to the bottom. If there are any issues whatsoever, you go to the, I shouldn't say the website, the element channel below and you ask for some help.
Okay, so that is it. Thank you very much and have a nice one. Bye.